Today we are at Interstate 81 Antiques right off of Interstate 81. I have not been here in a while, maybe a few months. And so I'm really excited to get in here and see what I can find that I could potentially flip for a profit. Maybe buy for myself, I'm not really sure. But we're gonna head in and see what we can find. Here we go. All right, so I'm using a different camera today, so I apologize if it is a bit shaky. Um, my other camera died while I was out shopping earlier, so we are just going to have to make do. How about that owl? Oh, this Christmas tree got 125 on that. It's feeling an awful lot like Christmas in here. Lots of depression glass. I do see that pretty little jack in the pulpit down there, and I do like it. But unfortunately, I don't think that there's a whole lot of money to be made on that piece at $20, but it is really pretty. I love the color combination there. I oh, like this. Oh, some marking. Oh, not food use. Okay. Goodness gracious, it's heavy too. Alright. Oh my, look at that apron. That's beautiful. This is Angela's booth. <laughs> Look at the, you know what? That is trash tastic. <laughs> Channeling my inner Michael. Oh boy. So this is Angela's booth. Um, Dave, you know from the flea market. This is his wife's stuff. The last time I got a beautiful compote out of here. I don't see a whole lot this time around. But she did tell me that someone came in and just bought everything she had available. So I'm sure it's taking her a little bit of time to restock. Alright, well you know I've got to go back and do a little creeping on Sis's booth. The first time we were ever in here and we found Sis's booth. Ah, look at that! <laughs> Oh boy, look at all the blow molds. I forgot what I was even gonna say. I just got so excited about those blow molds. And I don't get excited about blow molds because I'm not misty, but for a moment, I was. We've got 110 on this one with the original box. Where's this one? Oh, I can't see the prices from this side. 140. Firm on Santa. And you've got Giant Santa. Does Giant Santa have a price? Ooh, it's a little little hairy in here. I don't see a price on him. No, it's here somewhere. Just gonna scooch. Nope. It's probably on the top of his head and I can't get up that high. Here, you guys can. Maybe there's a price up there for you. I can't see it, but you can. <laughs> Those are great. Fantastic. Well, I'm noticing this vase right here. This is really nice. It's kind of giving me Blanco vibes. Now it is 40 and we're going to have to see if there's a discount here because Although I'm tempted at 40, I don't feel like there's a whole lot of room for me at 40. I'm really digging it though. This is nice as well. Love the amethyst glass. Ooh, sneak past Santa again. What else do we have over here? Little Scotty's, ooh, a little Scotty wall pocket. $12 on that. All right, so there is no discount on the vase. 
I think that's a great price for it. I just don't think that we're there for resale. So, we're going to have to leave it behind and venture this way. Fridges in there. Pyrex Fridges. Napco Lady. swan not just any swan though it is a royal hager swan and they want 15 dollars for it it's actually marked royal hickman royal hager swan by royal hickman which is amazing so i think i'm going to grab this last time i saw this swan, somebody wanted 45 dollars for it and i could not pay 45 however i can pay 14 or er, 14 i could pay 15 for it i could pay 14 too but i'm gonna pay 15. Wow, how did I walk right by those? Does anyone know? Because I did. We've got 16 each. I mean, amber's not my favorite color, but that's kind of a steal for $16 each. Like, I would be stupid to walk away from those. So, I'm going to grab them both for 16 bucks. I mean, those are amazing. They're massive. I found some face jugs here in the back room and as you can see they had a pretty high price tag on them. They are probably worth that high price tag. These can sell for quite a bit of money especially when they're that caliber. Those were really nicely done. This orb reminded me of a couple bookends I bought recently with the fish on it. I kind of liked it but I wasn't going to mess around with it. Um, here, I could see that they rearranged these shelves, and the piece that caught my eye was actually here in the back, this art pottery piece. It had a kind of an arts and crafts look to it. I liked it. It was 20% off. There were no markings on the bottom. I'm not sure if it's an early McCoy piece or not, but the style of it would be considered arts and crafts. I did find this creamer here, and it was marked on the bottom. It wasn't a mark that I recognized, but I just liked the look of it, and I liked the handle on it, the fact that it looked kind of like an antler, and there was an open sugar to go with it. So I will have to look up that marking and see what they're worth, but I felt that for $8, I could make a profit on those, so I did decide to grab those. I always look at these shorebird sculptures. We've had some good ones in the past, so I definitely checked that out, but there was nothing real special about it. Now this ashtray right here, I did like this, and the reason that I liked this is because the pattern on it is the cabbage pattern, which is actually a rarer pattern. We come across the rose medallion a lot, but one of the rarer patterns is this one, and this is the cabbage pattern. So it fetches a little bit more money, and even though it's an ashtray, I decided to grab that. There was a cloisonne little canister there, but I just bought one recently. I did like these candlesticks as well. They were art glass, but for 18 I just didn't see much profit there. So I did spot this teapot across the room sitting on this table over here. It was very whimsical and I liked the shape of it and the way the glass was formed. The handle was just wild. Um, now it was $65 and the bottom was signed by the artist Paul Coints is what it appeared to be. It's not someone I was familiar with at the time. And $65 seemed like quite a bit, but there was just something really cool about this teapot. 
There was a giant rose medallion bowl here. I did not attempt to pick it up or look at the bottom. It was just probably very heavy. This thistle plate right here, I did like this. I like the pattern on it. I did not recognize the marking on the back, but it was cheap enough that I felt like I could make a profit on that. It was $6.95. All right, so I may reconsider the teapot for $65 because I did just look this up and um, there was one that sold for $300. So I feel like even though 65 is high, I think it's probably worth it. So I think I'm gonna grab the teapot for 65. It is a little funky. And I can't say no to that. Alright, what do we have in here? Rudolph. I see a lot of other resellers picking these up and I have no idea anything about them. But also he's not priced. So I may pass on that. <laughs> oh my gosh, a whole yo-yo collection! Duncan yo-yo. Midnight special Duncan. Oh my gosh. When I was a kid, Duncan yo-yos were, they were the yo-yo to have. All the cool kids had the Duncans. Duncan Imperial. Tire lot. The Duncan butterfly yo-yo. I don't even know what yo-yos go for these days, but I just remember the nostalgia of these yo-yos. Special. <laughs> Me and my brother and sister used to always fight over the yo-yos, and so my grandfather bought us each the same yo-yo so that we wouldn't fight over it. I mean, I can walk the dog. Let me tell you, I can walk the dog. I can put the dogs to sleep. I'm pretty good at it. I have bought and sold this before and there has always been some debate on to whether it is American bisque or not. I love this piece. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a little bit tempted. I don't know what that is back there, but I kind of like it. Is it a planter? I'm going to move the fen over here, and then I'm going to very carefully pick this guy up. Please don't drop your pots. You have nothing on you but felt. Ooh, you are fantastic, aren't you? I think I love you so much. <laughs> $24. What could you put in? I mean, you could put, you could put succulents in there. You could totally say, here, have some succulents in there, and he would be perfect. I really like him a lot, and I think I'm going to spend the 24 on him just because, I mean, you have to think. How often do these little cups get separated? Probably quite often. Now he does have a little bit of boo-boo there on his nose, but I think he's worth it. Now I'm looking around to see if there's any discount here. Wait. Beep, beep, beep. No, there is no discount, but that's okay. I'm still willing to pay the 24. 
so I think he's just great. I'll take it. What is this rooster crock? Is it Beaumont Brothers? Not marked. Oh wait, it is marked on the back. Row pottery. I see I don't know anything about row pottery. It's one I don't know much about. It is 45, so I'm not gonna take the chance on that one. I just don't know enough about it. Here. I do kind of like these ones back here. Japan. They're much for $12, but out of all the salt and pepper shakers here, these ones definitely stand out to me. I kind of like those, but I just don't think I can pay $12 for them, unfortunately. A little pie bird here. I just bought some of these not too long ago. Shell salt feathers. That is a pretty cool stopper. That needs a pretty cool decanter. Alright, well. I do also like that optic brandy snifter. That six bucks is not bad for that, but I really have no need for the pink color. So I do like looking back here through some of this stuff. Um, at least to see what's back here. Unfortunately, the prices are usually too high for us to buy for resale, but they have really cool stuff. For instance, I love this cat. I feel like every time I come back here, I'm always drawn to this cat. Back here, some nice Mexican folk art, and I really, really like that dish back there. I'm going to reach for that. You can see, look. <laughs> Struggling just a little, but I'm going to reach back and see if I can... Grab that for fifteen dollars. Closer look at it. Okay, here we go. It's why we've created fifteen bucks. What is marked on the back? Made in Mexico. I kind of expected it to have a Ken Edwards mark on it. I don't know if that's a snail right there. Or if that's just a paint a paint trip. <laughs> but I really do like that. Oh, I wish there was a discount on it. I might consider it, but I don't think that I can do that. And I'm afraid to reach too far back and knock some stuff over, so I'm going to leave it right there. And I'm going to back out of this booth very carefully. So we can all be a healthy step ahead. I don't do like this. 85 on that. Maybe not. <laughs> all right. The music's coming back on, so I'm gonna shut you down. All right, so I'm going to film the outro here on my phone, but our total spend there was $156. That was not too bad. I'm very, very excited about that teapot. I feel like that's gonna do well. I don't know if it's gonna do $300 well, but I know it's gonna do better than $65. So. I feel like that was probably our best buy for the day, but we got some good stuff today and uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it. So on that note, I'm going to get home. I'm going to get some dinner and hang out with my family. I will see all of you tomorrow, later.